Now many would know Mick Gatto as a great survivor, he's a boxing promoter, professional mediator, but his latest venture is a departure from all that. As a founding member of the Equal Access for Autism Foundation, he is now working alongside his wife Cheryl Gatto to raise awareness for autism. With their grandson Dominic on the autism spectrum, Mick and Cheryl are two people acutely aware of the challenges facing the neurodiverse community and those who support them. Now they're planning a family fun walk, which they're calling Laps of Love, to take place at Victoria Park in Abbotsford on December 3. Mick Gatto join, joins me now. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, this is very different to what uh, people would expect from you. Obviously, it's a cause that's close to your heart. Uh, tell me about your grandson, Dominic, and, and some of the challenges he faces. Um, I probably should tell you how it started first, I guess. You know, I mean, my wife is uh, uh, the founding member with, along with me, sorry, and uh, she suggested one day that um, you know, I've raised millions of dollars for charity mm. and why not do something for autism and our grand grandson and leave some sort of legacy and help them when they get older because yes. uh, there's not much help from them when they, they get older. And watching him grow up um, with all these um, uh, you know, challenges that other children don't have, you know, it sort of prompted us to sort of do something about it and um, that's what we plan to do and this is all about raising awareness, what mm. we're doing at the moment and uh, yeah. Well, uh, tell me about some of those challenges. You've, you've made a point of saying this walk is going to have an environment where those who are on the spectrum can feel comfortable walking. There's going to be consideration of, of some of the concerns they have so they can walk with their support network. Um, why is that important? Look, because um, every child on the spectrum is different that has autism. You know, some are runners, some are climbers, some are screamers. <laughs> There's all different types. And um, the last thing you'd want to have is, is, is putting on a, a function or doing something, an event like this, and having something go wrong or someone getting hurt mm. or whatever. Uh, and that's the reason that, um, you know, we fenced off the whole of Victoria Park. Uh, we've got security guards. We've got... Many uh, helpers that are helping with uh, different areas there just specifically for this reason. And like I said, they'll have their support workers, or like you said, sorry, that'll walk them around the park and their mm. parents will be there and they can sort of, you know, have a good day and, and be in a safe environment. Now, you've recently had uh, support teamed up with the boys from Sushi Mango. They're massive at the moment, uh, Australian comics. Uh, tell me about some of the support you're getting from celebrities and just everyday Australians? Look, um, I, I'm very lucky. Uh, I've raised, like I said, millions of dollars for different charities and um, I've had a support network now for 30 years and, and people in the building industry, uh, uh, builders, you know, business people that have supported me all the way along. Mm. And whatever, that, whatever I do, they support me. Yeah. Whether it be boxing or charity or, or, or poker, whatever it is, they support me. And whether they like it or don't like it, they, they do it just to support me. And I really appreciate that. And You're persuasive man, Mick. That's, well, that's the not question. really. I, I, I don't know about <laughs> persuasive. I think, I think really, you know, everyone likes to help. And especially mm. when it's um, something like this, you know, everyone wants to do their little bit and, and, and hope to make some sort of difference. Absolutely. And you, you said you've raised millions. I remember uh, you were heavily involved with muscular dystrophy cha charities. Yeah, Jerry Lewis, yeah, we raised only two million there, 1.6 or whatever it was. Mm. Yeah. Great work. Now, switching gears, there's talk that the Albanese government is thinking about raising the bar for children with autism to access the NDIS programs they have on offer. Um, what are your thoughts on those proposed changes? Should the bar be raised to access the NDIS? I, I don't think it should be raised because, in fairness, all them people that are getting that support that have children on the spectrum, if a carpet's going to be pulled from them, mm -hmm. you know, and it's going to leave them in a very bad situation because they're not going to have their speech therapists or their therapy classes or whatever they're doing. And, uh, you know, that creates meltdowns with autistic children and I mean there's nothing worse mm. than seeing a, a child having a meltdown uh, and there's nothing you can do about it you know so I, I believe it'll create that and I know some people that know Bill Short and they say he's a good man good politician 
And um, if he could keep things the way they are and not, not pull the carpet on these mm. autistic families and their children, it would be fantastic and just try and find another way. Now, the money you're raising with this event on December 3, what are your plans for it? Is it I've heard hearing about an indoor playground yeah. you're, you're planning to build? Yeah, no, look, uh, we're not raising money. Uh, this is costing our foundation a significant amount of money to put this on. Um, this is all about awareness. Awareness, OK. And it's about... But how are you going to build these projects? Well, I was just going to finish about <laughs> this. Uh, we're not raising money for that. But anyway, <laughs> the, the projects... Sorry, Rita. The projects, uh, the uh, the playgrounds, we, we've got a fantastic board. And, and as I said, me and my wife are founders, so... Uh, but everything that happens goes to the board. It's a not-for-profit board. Peter Marshall, the firefighters' union, is the chairman. Mm -hmm. We've got fantastic people like Earl Setchers from the Plumbers' Union, lawyers, accountants, you know, all on board. They make the decisions what we do. But what we're hoping to do is is, is get a, um, a an indoor playground with uh, indoor um, uh, friendly or autistic friendly playground equipment. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, therapy rooms and things of that nature, um, uh, autistic-friendly toilets, you know, for autistic adolescent Fantastic. children. Fantastic. Mick Gatto, the, like you said, I think this is going to be uh, an enormous part of your legacy. You're going to leave behind something well, that's really, we're really give it valuable. Our, we're going to give it our best shot. And, and I'd just like to add that anyone that wants to come, all they've got to do is... Um, download or go on laps laps for love laps for love dot yeah. org. Uh, laps, actually it's it's uh, we'll, we'll put the details equal, up on, on the okay. screen it's equal access for autism dot org dot au. sorry and follow yeah. the prompts if they can't do that just come on a day we've got facilities for yeah we've got to be all the details on the day. up on the screen show up and do your part raise awareness Miguel thank you so much for your time